Good. Just make sure it's that the bottom piece. Yeah, you're good there. All right. Just make sure the box is secured to you. All right. <laughs> so now we got Majengo and D Rex. And it's Pikachu versus Batman. Unfortunately, to see these two uh, characters come out. I'm actually kind of interested in how it sees because I, I don't see a lot of Pac Man's play. Um, he's a fairly popular character, but I really don't see it. I, I definitely think Pikachu has an advantage just because of the sheer speed that Pikachu can get across the map. Um, obviously, not as fast as Sheik or CSS, um, but Pikachu's still a very fast character. So. I'm looking forward to seeing how this is out, turns out because I don't see a lot of Pac-Mans or Pikachu's play. D-Rex using that forward smash real well in this Pac-Man. Pac-Man is using his items real well lately. Yeah, his fruits put a lot of zoning pressure on Pikachu because Pikachu only has his um his Thunderbolt, uh, Thundershock, so it's not, and it clangs with a lot of these fruits, and the fruits generally eat his uh, Thundershock. So it's not very effective in terms of dealing with Pac-Man's projectile game. So Pikachu, Pikachu's pretty much only option is to get in and do damage. Um, it's almost like playing a, pretty much a character without projectiles. You can kind of uh, interrupt some of these fruits. You see how that uh, Thundershock interrupted that melon, but for the most part, it can't, it can't get in and pressure Pac-Man that way. Oh, that was a nice thunder. Uh, that was a nice thunder right there. Yeah, Jango with a big lead right now. With a lead right now. Yeah. And Wade back gets throw, kill. Back throw. Do you know who D Rex means? Because he plays like everybody. I've seen him play Zeldas. I've seen him play. Uh... He has a mixture of characters. I think he plays. Yeah, he plays Sheik too. I think. I actually haven't seen him play Pikachu today, so this is nice, nice to watch. Yeah, that was a good S smash. Support. Good zoning. And Pac-Man's tether grab. It's definitely something you need to keep it out for because after it reaches its full extent, it's still active, so you can't just rush in like that. It kind of operates a little differently than other people's tether grabs. Great force smash by Pikachu. One thing you don't see is and I'm thinking that there's an advantage for Pac-Man is the spacing. Spacing is one thing that Pac-Man has. Yes, definitely. With the, with the forward smash. You would think that Pikachu would be able to get in faster with quick attack though, so like he could get he could get by those projectiles. See like that. And I've I've seen some uh, quick attacks lead into combos depending on your spacing with Pikachu. That was a good spot dodge by uh, Django. Django with a huge lead and great use of the down smash. I did pick up the mic. So Django with a one nothing lead over D-Rex. Project that is going to start very shortly. Last call to sign up for Project Is D-Rex gonna change our characters or? So we're waiting here. Might be a change of characters. They're discussing stage picks right now. Stage uh, counter picks. Okay. No D-Rex. All right, he Lucina. Chose Lucina. All right. As we know, um, recently Lucina and Martha have both gotten some extensive buffs. So this could be an interesting match. Lucina has gotten some uh, some nice range buffs just by a little bit, but that's enough. And then a good about 2% overall on all her aerials and tilts, I think. So we're on FP, <laughs> and who has to get advantage here right now? Um, honestly, I feel like Pac-Man would because he has a lot of those, that projectile game that- And most of the utility. That, yeah, he has a lot of utility. Um, Martha and Lucina can't really compete with that, per se. They have to, they're, they're forced to get in, and that's the hardest part about playing Martha and Lucina. Um, as a Marth main myself, it's really difficult to play against projectile heavy characters and zoners. Especially when the Pac-Man can pressure you both on and off the on on and off the map with the his fruits. And on top of that, um, ooh, that was a nice air catch. He on top of that, it, throw, the US just throw away the mail. Could have used that. I 
but yeah, you see how much he's struggling trying to get in because he can't compete with his projectiles. And on top of that, his grab, since it lasts longer. Oh, I just got called up, so. <laughs> Good luck. I will I'll be, be seeing you later. Here. Yeah, you'll be lonely. I'm sorry. Bring you to a uh, port. How do you think so? I'm over here waiting. We still have Django and D Rats, and both have two sides, but D Rats with a higher percentage at 152 and 163, and he's killed. So Django with the lead right now with two stops. And great use slot dodge. It's a great forward smash by D Rats. Still, and he's struggling right now to get back on stage. Down right. And how's it going on ABC? How's it going? For Pretty you? good. Uh, I don't think I'd I don't think I'd want to play against either of these characters, but you know. So this is a uh, it's kind of interesting uh, in terms of that, actually how far the game has gone. Pac-Man has a lot of percent on him, which is always scary because but uh, which is always scary. But for Lucina, actually, Lucina has a harder time being able to reliably kill someone like Pac-Man. Pac-Man who has the ability to zone as hard as uh, he can. And this Pac-Man's doing a pretty good job zoning. Um, that was an interesting choice there. Also, the apple is an interesting choice. What I think this Lucina could be doing is reading those um, trampoline jumps, going off and gimping there, because Pac-Man's relatively easily gimpable as long as your character has good gimp power. That was a good little string there that Matt usually pulls off the uh, Z-drop into the Hydrant there. So that was a great forward smash from Lucina, but D-Rex now is in a big hole right now. He is. He has he a is down by percent. Pretty big deficit to run through. Uh, that's a lot of damage that he's gonna have to get through, and he has to try to be approaching Pac-Man. And approaching Pac-Man is not necessarily easy. Uh, projectiles, tractor beam, even uh, when he really needs to, he has that quick eject up B. So it's pretty difficult for Lucina to win this matchup. That was a good use of the water there, but he didn't actually have the second hydrant that he used in the air there. I don't know if that was a missed input, because the hydrant necessarily wouldn't have been a great option. There's and that Melon, Melon absolutely zoning out the character, it, getting the catch too. One thing Ooh. I did say about that, it's slow, but it can kill you real quickly. Yeah, for sure. Just having it on the field is so scary, because once it comes up like that, you know, now that now that uh, it's in Majango's hand, he can actually use it there. He's gonna throw him into oh the Oh my melon. goodness! It was close, it was that close, was it was close. close. That was just Watching Matt do, uh, do those kills like, like that is usually pretty scary. Uh, that key was actually kind of surprising. And the, oh man, the hydrant gimped him like out of the dolphin slash. Stopping him. But can he stop him from getting back on stage? Probably not. He has the trampoline in place. He's gonna. He's at 180%. This is really hard for him. This is a really hard, and there goes the key. He gets the kill. And that's the yeah. game match well, right now. Pretty much well played for... Pac-Man, that was the set actually. Good stuff all around. I think uh, Lucina played a little bit scared, but actually, hold up. all around, could have been worse. Could have been worse.